Hi, good morning everyone. Today we are going to discuss about pre-lab experiment for reaction of aliphatic and aromatic hydrocarbon. So this pre-lab will conduct in week 6 or week 7 based on your group. First of all, you must write down your name, class, metric number, and lecturer's name in your lab report, and then tell me the title, experiment for, and then what is the objective. The objective of today's lesson is to study the chemical properties of alkane, alkene, and arene. Arene actually is aromatic compound. Huh? And then number two, to differentiate an alkane from alkene and arene. First, we look at the introduction or the theory related with alkane, alkana. Okay, it's a hydrocarbon organic compound that contains only carbon and hydrogen. So based on just now, right, what you see, all the compounds just with carbon and hydrogen atom. And then alkane are considered to be saturated hydrocarbon. Okay, meaning the saturated hydrocarbon is referred only with single bond. Okay, uh, please take note. Uh, saturated hydrocarbon just with single bond so that they do not contain double or triple bond. So these are the example methane. Ethane with two carbon and cyclohexane is a cyclic carbon with six cyclic compound with six carbon. So they are considered to be inert or be known as paraffin. Do not undergo addition. So do not undergo addition, but they do undergo free radical substitution reaction. So the main the main part, right, or the easiest way for you to recognize. I can undergo free radical substitution if with the UV light. Okay, so this one is free radical substitution. What is the function of UV? Actually, you should know the function of the UV light is to supply energy for the homolytic cleavage of bromine happen. Okay, always remember the function of UV is to supply energy for the homolytic cleavage happen. In order to form the free radical. Okay, next is about alkene. Alkene are unsaturated hydrocarbon. So meaning that this one compound with a double bond between two carbon atoms. Just now, alkene is single bond. That's why saturated. Alkene, unsaturated carbon carbon double bond. Huh? So if you look at here, right, C double bond C, over here, C double bond C. Next, we should know that right, alkene can easily undergo addition reaction. Okay, so for example, undergo hydrogenation or halogenation. Hydrogenation means hydrogen is added. Halogenation means halogen, for example, bromine is added. Okay, that's why if more specific, right, actually the type of reaction for alkene over here is electrophilic addition. Okay, and then from the alkene with dihalide, so dihalide 2Br, dihalide. Okay, respectively. At the same time, alkene also react with potassium permanganate solution in two different conditions. So the first one, basic medium, room temperature, it will form diol. Okay, so this is diol. The second situation is hot acidic medium from carboxylic acid. So this is COOH. Why there are two carboxylic acid? When the compound is break, right, here will become C double bond O. This one will become another C double bond O, and then the hydrogen will oxidize become OH, and then here become OH. That's why there are two carbon carbon uh, Why there are two like this here C double bond O, COH, and then CH3. So this is ethanol acid. Another one, since this one is symmetrical, that's why we form two carboxylic acid, two ethanol acid. The condition you have to bear in mind is this one is acidic chem NO4 hot acidic uh, and then from carboxylic acid so remember if chem NO4 in basic medium room temperature form diol if alkene react with chem NO4 in acidic medium form uh, heat condition or hot condition it will form carboxylic acid this is oxidation reaction okay arene Arene are aromatic hydrocarbon with stable molecular structure 
they have a high degree of unsaturation and a relative inert toward all addition reaction. So, for example, toluene, naphthalene, anthracene, all of these are benzene ring. Okay. Although iron has very high degree of unsaturated, they are relatively inert toward all addition reaction, except high pressure and high temperature. So, for example, in this case, uh, hydrogen is added, okay, but with the help of catalyst, nickel catalyst at high pressure, 200 degrees Celsius. Cyclohexane, okay. Next, undergo electrophilic aromatic substitution. If you know, right, C6H6 is benzene ring with hydrogen, so the hydrogen will replace by bromine. Okay, that's why it's substitution reaction. And then this is aromatic compound. Aromatic compound, that's why with the name aromatic substitution. And then bromine electrophile is added. Of course, you have to remember for this reaction must present Lewis acid catalyst then only can happen. Next is about the result. So you all can tabulate the table like this. So there are two tests. One is bromine test. There are two conditions. One is under sunlight and another one is in the dark. So we have to check what happened to cyclohexane, cyclohexane and toluene. Another part is about oxidation test with acidic KMnO4. So what is the original color of KMnO4? The answer is purple. So try to check the purple solution change to what color. Next discussion. So bromine test, what happened to cyclohexane? Cyclohexane is a what? Carbon, which undergo what type of reaction? In the presence of? Okay. I think you should know the answer, right? Okay, so the first one is the equation without sunlight. The second equation is the equation with sunlight. So under sunlight, what happened? And then without sunlight, what happened? Without sunlight means in the dark condition, what happened? So you have to write down two equations. Huh? Second one also, cyclohexane is N. Ah, what is the difference between cyclohexane and cyclohexane? Undergo what type of reaction? In the or in... Okay, meaning the condition with bromine in dichloromethane. So, equation 1 is the condition without sunlight. And then the equation 2 is the condition with sunlight. For toluene, toluene undergo, okay, what type of reaction with bromine in inert solvent means the um, chloromethane, dichloromethane, only under sunlight. So, meaning that the first one, is the equation toluene react with bromine without sunlight and then the second equation is toluene react with bromine under sunlight part b oxidation test for this test right we are using cold alkaline solution of KMnO4 we call, another name we call it as Bayer test so first one is cyclohexane react with KMnO4 in basic medium, what will happen? Okay, for based on the keywords, cannot be meaning that nothing happened. But you have to write out the equation as well, and then write down no observable change. Okay, uh, I give you some hints. Uh. So there is no product for this reaction, but you have to write down no observable change. And then cyclohexane is oxidized to, okay, it will to become what kind of product? Same for here, toluene is oxidized to. You have to check for the product. You can search through internet or reference book or lecture notes to find out the product. What happens when cyclohexane alkene oxidize with KMnO4 using the Bayer test? And same for toluene oxidize. What will happen? Uh, must show the equation as well. Okay, after discuss the result for part A and part B, okay, we have to further discuss. Okay, number one, give the mechanism for the reaction of cyclohexane with bromine. Okay, just now you already write down the equation, right? Now you have to show the mechanism. So for this mechanism, right, there are three steps. Each step, there are few equations. For example, the first one, first equation, change initiation step, one equation. And then next, change propagation step, two equation. And then the last one, change termination step, there are three equations. So please go and study first. Next week, we will discuss about it. And then we have to know what is the function of sunlight as well. Okay, why? The experiment part A, right? The condition, there are two. One is under sunlight and another one is in the dark condition. So what is the function of the sunlight? And then what is the purpose of bromine test for the part A? And then say for part B, what is the original color for KMnO4 solution? Okay, if you listen to my explanation, actually I told you the answer already. And state its function. 
Okay, another important point. Why must certain test tube be fully covered with black sugar paper? Okay, I think you you are you all are clever, right? You should know why. So on this experiment, right, there are a few arrows. The first one is the discussion, part number five. Test tips were not fully covered with black sugar paper. If not covered with black sugar paper, meaning that it will expose to sunlight. Why cannot expose to sunlight? So you have to think about it. Huh? So the first one you have to remember, must make sure that it's fully covered with black sugar paper. And then the second arrow might be, Mm, you label wrongly for the test tube or you mix up the solution. Okay, yeah. Precaution step. Okay, if you check the video, right, you notice the experiment conducted at outside of field cupboard. Actually, that one is for video purpose. So, if in real situation, you have to make sure that all the solution, for example, cyclohexane, cyclohexane, toluene, and bromine must put under the film cupboard. Because especially the bromine fume, right, can irritate the throat and sinus. If bromine is spilled on the skin or even cyclohexane, hexane or toluene, you must flood the area with water for around 10 minutes. Here, yeah, make sure you have to clean the skin uh, if you, you if you uh, gonna, gonna the solution. Uh, be careful. Uh. Okay, the second, re second precaution is cyclohexane and cyclohexane are volatile. Okay, volatile means monroc. Okay, so it might ignite the compound in the film cupboard. Explosion may be happen uh, if there are source of fire. And then the common precaution step, you have to wear lab coat, goggle or glove when conducting the experiment. Discussion, arrows and precaution. The final part is about the conclusion. So you have to check, okay, what solution, what kind of solution, solution A, solution B, undergo what reaction with bromine in the presence of sunlight? Where else? What reaction? What compound react with bromine with or without sunlight? Okay, this is the conclusion for part A. For part B, there are only two solutions can be oxidized by chemical force. So which two? Okay, so answer the conclusion, then continue to complete your lab report. That's all for this pre-lab experiment for. Okay, please watch the video and prepare the pre-lab report. So next week, see you all for experiment four. Bye.